chilly night, yes. Shuffing eater over. Tonight reviewing Brew Dogs Mallow, what's that? Mallow Laser Quest. A marshmallow and pineapple Azy IPA. 6% volume. And I bought it yesterday. I think it was about, oh, there's the klaxon. I bought it for about 250. And apparently they're going down to two quid for I think it's today or tomorrow they're going down to two quid. Hey, talk about going in early. So a load of them are going to be at two quid. Certainly not the one from uh, Buxton Brewery, the five pound one. Ain't no way that's going down to two quid. Good evening. So let's get cracking. Get this beer down as a I... Oh hi yeah. Oh they've reviewed it as well. That's interesting. Good evening. Oh, definitely pineapple on the nose straight away. Good evening. And even again. Did I just spill some? Dear, oh dear, sacrilege. Good evening. So yeah, they're going down in price tomorrow, funnily enough. Typical, isn't it? You buy them one day, then, or, or they've already gone down today, I'm not sure. So there, there's the can. Oh, bless you. So nice looking, Paul. Nice, uh, I'd say just a slight off orange or, or amber, Paul. Sometimes colours, it's not easy. A form of head, a centimetre of head. Good evening. No new beers. i tell you what, it is random. Um, two weeks furlough, happy. Yeah, I bet you are. It does look nice, doesn't it? Definitely get the pineapple on the nose. There's a hint of marshmallow on the nose as well. Two, two quid today, bugger. I paid two pound fifty, I did. I robbed. But I've got it, you know. There's a sweetness uh, from the marshmallow. It goes well with the pineapple. Right, let's dive in. Ooh, that's nice. So, on the taste, the marshmallow comes through quite nice, but you still get the pineapple. Oh, long lasting taste. Good evening. Tastes nice as well. It's got a lovely taste to it. It all depends with these beers. Is it the sort of beer that you're going to like? You know, um, if you can get on with marshmallow and pineapple. Oh, just put the radiator between my legs. It's freezing here. Good evening. And uh, this, I mean, I, I like pineapple. I'm okay with marshmallow. And the combination of both, um, yeah, quite nice. Mm. It does taste decent, I've got to say. Oh, that's one of them that's going to go down very quickly. I mean, I'm glad they've gone down to two quid, apart from the, I presume, the five pound um, job. It. Be interesting to see what you get from it and how you like it. Uh, all depends with low cost. Have, have they upgraded with loads more today? I've not looked on today. I've been busy all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I don't know. There is some writing on the back. Let me get the old magnifying glass out. See if I can actually see it. Let's have a look. Right, so it says here, our hazy India pale ale unpacks a sweet tropical fruit aroma, bursting with pineapple, candied fruit, sherbet, and mallow notes, heading towards a sweet finish. Doesn't say anything. Hops up. Atarnum and Citra. Flavour profile is pineapple, sweet marshmallow. Um, the world's only carbon negative beer. They do like to. <laughs> they do make me laugh with some of the stuff they come out with. Good evening, Mr. Bowman. Yeah, low cost, it depends. Um, but at the moment, I would say probably Monday or Tuesday next week. Alcohol free again. Oh. Although Bex Blue, to be fair, Bex Blue is not bad for alcohol-free. Yeah. 
Low cost usually. Good evening, Treeball. Yeah, low cost are normally quicker, but they, you know, because of the amount of beers they've had, they, um, it is sweet. Yeah, because of the amount of beers they've had, they are well behind. But it's all good for business, I suppose. Oh, I love that marshmallow flavour. And combined with the pineapple, it's, it's quirky, it's different. I mean, I'm sure, I've had marshmallow and I'm sure that was a stout. So to have a slack of sweeter marshmallow, it's um, it's certainly interesting. Just good to that I bought it at £2.50 when it's now on at two quid. And there we go. And in my brew dog glass as well. I do like to have the right glass if I can. There we go. Brew dog glass. It actually looks bob on in that as well. Craft beer for the people. Good evening. Yeah, I know. I want to go back in tonight and say, hey, help me, honey. Yeah, that's the thing sometimes with low cost. Um, stuff, they get, they've had, they're getting that many orders at the moment. that. Um, but if, if the swapsies are good swapsies, you don't mind. And he usually does. He, he usually is pretty fair. Lidl, yeah, they did a marshmallow stout by Barney's. That was quite nice, seven point four percent, if memory serves me correctly. But these fellas, um, own brew Slurpee stout. Oh, bless you. Yeah, um, these fellas also did a marshmallow. I can't remember what it was called, but I remember they did a marshmallow stout. It was quite nice, to be fair. And I think it was actually more marshmallow flavoured than the Barney's one. In my opinion, but you know, I could be wrong, obviously. You know, never always right. Nice, it's nice to actually get the flavour. Sometimes you drink it, you think that was amazing, and you think, I ain't got a clue what it tastes of. I know it's tropical, I know it's citrus, but tonight I can actually taste the pineapple and the uh, marshmallow full on. This is the first beer. <laughs> I did do, I did a cider review earlier about four o'clock ish. And uh, bless you. Yeah, I did a cider review about four o'clock and then about, oh, I think about six o'clock. No, I want six. Five o'clock, five off, or five off, five. I did a E1 Bruco and their Pilsner Lager. So there's two, two, live, two non live reviews that I did earlier. One from the Hot Tub Room as well, sat in the Hot Tub Room reviewing. Yeah, the pop. <laughs> yeah, the lemon cider. Yeah, and I had the lager. The lager was quite nice, to be fair. You know, from um, in in own bargains, so it's only about one twenty or something daft. Yeah, the pineapple was much more on the aroma when I first cracked it open. It was definitely more pineapple on the aroma. Nice, long-lasting uh, flavour to it. Well, it will be long-lasting if I don't drink the bugger. Well, actually, in the hot tub, I'd have to have my forest T-shirt on. You won't want to see my top. Put you off your dinner. Yeah. I ain't got a six-pack these days. It's more of a barrel. But, hey, yeah, beer barrel. Jobs are good. Um, There's a hint of bitterness. I'm looking at that bloody screen. And... Yeah, I'd be interested to see what you said about it. Right. It... Yeah, there is a slight bit of finish, yeah. On the nose, do you get more pineapple on the nose? See, the nose now is a bit more muted. Well, I've got some Prosecco to do um, to do a review soon. Up oh, there, there's a bottle of Prosecco. But I'm holding that off for, for a certain reason, when my daughter has a baby. 
Right. You see. I didn't get that. I didn't get that joke. Unless I'm half asleep. Yeah, um, Mr. Borman told me there was uh, beers in, um, was it Little? Little as well, new beers. Jesus Christ. Can't afford. Yeah, obviously, you know, in the end of the day, anything with, with scores of beers, the score really is is pretty irrelevant. Was it a good beers? Oh, fucking hell. Off sleep. Yeah. That's what you get. Sometimes you're asleep, aren't you? You know, these things happen. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Some beers, although drinking too much can give you a bad head. <laughs> I know that too, way too much. Um, yeah, own bully, evil dog. Oh, I wish that Bulldog Brews would bring some more kits out. They haven't updated their kit for a while. Just gone over the 10 minutes by about a minute. Another ring of the bell, half time. And we're off. Yeah, it's a nice tasting bit. It's an, in it's an interesting... I've not come across the marshmallow with pineapple before. I've only come across marshmallow in stouts, both by Brewdog and Barney. Barney Brews. And so it's the first time I've come across this. Um, I think brothers do a marshmallow cider. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to give me a good hiding. <laughs> Can't wait to ring your bell in October. Oh dear. Yeah, this to me. No, no. So we do. Norm, Slurpee normally asks for the bell. So we normally have a bell about half time. Or then somebody somebody might just randomly ask for it, so I'll give it, I'll give it a quick uh, touch of the bell. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I could drink a lot of this. I think as a one-off beer, yeah, it's it's certainly it's nice for what it is, but it's not a sessionable beer. Good evening. I've had one of the re Tiny Rebel stay. I, I think I have. Yeah, I think I might have had that. Yeah. Um, another another of the um, uh, Tesco beers. So um, I'm looking. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not fussed on which one. Good evening, Mr. Bursey. Mr. Mersey, rather. Mr. Bursey. Yeah. Pardon my French. Um. I might do the Northern Monk next. Cheers and good evening from America or good afternoon rather in America. It was a nice little chat the other night. Well, I was texting and you was chatting, but uh, yeah, it was a good, good um, collab with Dean. Lovely bloke, top class bloke. didn't it ah right yeah you might have t I, I obviously haven't been watching the screen so but what i've got i've got my phone here which which i use because my phone's quite a decent camera well decent ish and i've got my laptop in the background just to keep my eye on the um comments and not every now and again someone will trigger a comment that won't come through for some reason i don't know youtube's um So yeah, interesting beer. Um, if you like your fruity beers, you're gonna love this. Marshmallow, it's interesting. It's, um, yeah, it's a different flavor. I mean, Brothers, they did 
bring I'm sure they did bring out a, um, a marshmallow cider and I actually got on with that you know it was, it was interesting enough um, the colour of this looks good the marshmallow and pineapple it's an interesting concept and uh, I'll, what I do love about the craft beer scene is this mixing of the of the varieties it's interesting yeah I mean, we're not all the same, obviously, you know. I mean, for me, I actually, the, 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 the stout was nice, but sweetness puts people off. Obviously, the good thing about all of us, we all don't like the same beers. It'd be a boring world if we did. Let me just, uh, I'll show you the two I'm going to review. I'm going to do, obviously, three reviews. I'll just show you the other two. Oh, dear. Get back. So I've not drank this one before and it's a collab. So I'm going to do that one next, the Northern Monk. And then after that, I'm going to do this salt one. And then I might do another three tomorrow night just to get these Tesco ones out of the way and uh, get back onto a normal uh, beer reviews, as it were. I love the aroma. It is sweet. If you don't like sweet tasting beers, you might find it a little bit too sweet. As the lady in Chitty Chitty Ch 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 Bang Bang used to say, too sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I built it last year. You know, lockdown, obviously with COVID, it's been a strange old year, hasn't it? And, uh, you know, it's been a very strange year. And I used some pallets and uh, I built what you, what is the behind me, the beer, beer wall. Close to about 500 different beers, ciders, spirits and lagers uh, around the, yeah, the beer. Yeah, it is a bit orangey, yeah. It's orangey slash amber, isn't it? You know, it's that colour. Bless you. Have a good one. Good evening, Mr. Rampant Line Reviews. <laughs> now here's a bloke who, who don't mince about with his words and that's the sort of person that I am you know sometimes I have to make sure I have to remember that people are watching and not to be too overly opinionated myself you know I can be a bit um, especially on non-live reviews if I start going down a road I can't get off you know it happens to us all I suppose we have a beer and then we start talking and then we start going on. We see something on telly that upsets us and we start, you know, venting. And uh, these things happen, don't they, you know. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a tad naughty for that sometimes. I have to remember that, you know, I suppose you're on YouTube, you know, you, we've got an opinion as long as it's not too overly uh, um, out of the ordinary. Drinking gold from Ramsbury Brewery. Mr. Blue Nose. Yeah, I didn't know he was. I didn't know he was uh, the Ed Brewer. And then I read, being nosy, I read some of his... Um, um, read that he was also at uh, Brew House in Nottingham as the Ed Brewer. So that's quite interesting. And I've also seen photos of quite a few of you. Ke Mr. Kent Beers. Certainly Blue Nose, uh, Dean and others uh, meeting up and doing um, in pubs. And that's fantastic. You know, I, I love the community, you know, meeting up with everyone. Ed Brewer and Distiller, bless you. <laughs> Funny one, eh? Yeah, bless you. Good evening. And another good evening. Yeah, the tap room, it's um, it's a nice room, isn't it? You know, you come in here, you've got the raggish tap room sign, you've got all the beers. We've got the... The bell. That's better. The bell. And, um, yeah, it's nice. It's a, And what I love is the beer community are such nice people. You get the odd troll, but, you know, it's so, you know, the trolls, I'll have to set up some moderators one day. 
because obviously I can't talk and and uh, knock off trolls, but but one of these days I'll have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually bought by one of the friends of the channel, funnily enough. So, a lovely beer from Brewdog. Um, for me, it's a one-off beer. It's, it's a beer I wouldn't want to, I couldn't drink, I couldn't session this. It's, it's a beer that I'd only drink once and have to move on to something else. I like the marshmallow and pineapple flavours from it. I like to tug on my bell. <clears throat> but not, not in front of people, obviously. You know, there's, um, there's reasons. Yeah. See you in a bit. Good to see you. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice one-off beer for me. It's not a beer I'm going to session. 6%. Oh, cheers. I like that we're all coming together as a community. Obviously, it's took me two and a half years to actually recognise that there's actually a community out there. But obviously, um, life in the old dog. <laughs> Bless you. These Tesco beers are, are rather elusive to find. I walked into one Tesco's, absolutely none. And there's a bloke and he's doing the, um, you know, doing the display. So I know he was going to put them on, but you know I can't wait. Um, oh, and interesting scores. It's going to be interesting. So what normally happens in these beer reviews that I do, just for the, anybody anybody who's here that's not talking and who, and who doesn't really know these beer reviews, I kill off the beer review at normally about twenty minutes. I'm a little bit over, but that always happens. And then I re and then I come back. Good evening. And I come back. Oh, did you? Was that on Twitter? I don't go on Twitter very much. I'll have a look on Twitter later. Yeah, I'll need to, I'll need to get the Audi beers. You know, it's it's a personal thing. I need to get every beer I can. And then at some stage, try and actually review them. <laughs> um, yeah, for those who come don't, they're not irregular, what I normally do, I kill the review and then I restart the review. I restart. So if you re if you go back to my YouTube channel and restart, you know, re renew it, refresh it, whatever, whatever, you'll see. Thank you. Um, you'll see that I do. I'm doing another review. So this is the first, first of three, and it's a good. This it's a good. Um, community here you know not just my community you know it's it's like the beer tuber community there are some amazing people and lots of great people talking all friendly a little bit of banter you know probably is taking the mick out of me sometimes but uh, you know there you go you can't be a bit of mickey taking yeah 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 being in work yeah i've been cutting down this tree that's not been touched for 10 years uh taking off all the limbs and that off it to lift it uh and it's been a fun day. And then trying to burn it as well. It's been totally fun. So I'll get this one out of the way and then restart with the next one. Good evening. So I'll give you the actual review part instead of just the chatting. Uh, on the nose. Yeah. Pineapple on the nose straight away. Um, obviously, it's an orangey slash amber pour. There was a, there was a form of ed. On the taste, marshmallow and pineapple all the way through. A slight bitterness in the back end. A slight bitterness in the back end. If you love marshmallow and love pineapple, this is going to be your beer. For me, it's a one-off beer. It's a beer that I like to drink once. Tastes great, mind you. It's not, it's not that the beer's... But it's not a beer I'd session on, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, a nice beer nonetheless. Oh, so no grapefruit whatsoever. No, no, it's pineapple and marshmallow. And it's quite nasty. Yeah, <laughs> and it's quite nice. It lasts quite, lingers for quite a long as well. Right, I better kill this review to come back with another review. 
I like to separate the reviews. I, I don't like it's available at Tesco's, all the Tesco's in the UK. Well, <coughs> it should be, <coughs> should be. It's going to be a if it's not available now and it's cheaper today than it was yesterday. When I went yesterday, these were £2.50 a tin. Now they're £2. What I've noticed with Tesco's is all the ABV has been lowered. So they're not coming in at £3.50 and four quid. They're coming in at £2.50. Although, to be fair, Buxton Brewery, uh, they've got sour at a fiver that apparently was a tenner last year. And uh, me being a tight, you know, Nottingham person who, who you know, I ain't paying a tenner for a sour. I'm not paying a fiver either. Red Tube. It's a very nice channel. <laughs> um, it must be two pound of a club card. I would think it's that. Yeah, they've got this club card thing going off at the moment. Yeah. It's, it's what it is with Tesco's and club cards. Same with Sainsbury's and Nectar. Good to, just going off on a tangent. It'd be two pound tomorrow then. Um, yeah, just going off on a tangent, uh, what you'll find is that whenever you buy anything, once they've got you on Club Card or Nectar, every single purchase you make, they know. They can look back in their computer algorithms. Ah, yeah, Club Card, it's two quid then, right? Yeah. They can look back in their computer algorithms and they know exactly what you've bought. It's a bit crafty, it's a bit sly, but hey, oh, that's business, I suppose. If you've got nothing to hide, then there's no worry, is there? So, out of five, for me, oh, I reckon about a 4.3 out of five. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Targeting you, trying to get you to buy something, giving you a few coupons to, you know, oh, here's a beer coupon, go and get that beer. Um, so for me, out of five, yeah, 4.3 out of five. Interesting beer, and uh, that's it for this beer review. Back in two minutes. Um... Northern Monk, Faith in Futures next. As always, thank you everyone for commenting. <laughs> commenting, subscribing, liking and uh, just watching. You know, it's nice for people to watch. See you soon. Well, two minutes. Cheers. Not long.